here's what happens when I had two of them in here during the summer and of course they were laying down because I couldn't close the drawer but there was a little bit spilled out of the lacquer thinner and out of the coal oil and they sat on top of this everybody knows the kind of plastic this is I mean it just melted a hole in it now I'm not saying it did it right away but it just goes to show you that you want to store this stuff somewhere where it's safe each one of these fuels are thinners I'm gonna pour on each one of these gloves this one is a seven millimeter this is a five milliliter Hold on. And then of course I'm gonna rub it in like I'm working on a something. Don't seem to be softening up the gloves or anything. So that seems to be okay. I'm waiting for this to evaporate so I can go to the next one. You don't ever want to mix this stuff together. Okay, now we've got paint thinner. The only bad thing about paint thinner is it just hardly ever takes forever to dry. Well, not forever, it takes a really long time to dry. All right, these are holding up well. Denatured alcohol dries real fast. So let's try this one. Seems to work pretty good. Lacquer thinner. This is this is about the toughest one you can buy for residential. I'm always really concerned about using this stuff because, well, the fumes are so volatile. Well, makes the gloves really not sticky. But definitely you can put something in your hand and it ain't gonna slide out. So, but it seems to be holding up pretty good. Alright. Acetone for labels and whatnot. Well this stuff dries faster than lacquer thinner. Let me try a little more. There again, it makes the gloves kind of sticky. In other words, easy to hang on to stuff. Mineral spirits. This is kind of like paint thinner. Takes a long time for it to dry. Seems to be doing well. So really, these gloves are great for, for all these cleaning materials here.